When you think about it, uh, particularly when we started out, a lot of people thought we were crazy. I remember people telling me that uh, nobody could compete with IBM. Well, fortunately, there were a, a few of us that thought that uh, we could do that and do it successfully. And what that brings you is, is a group of people that are, are united behind a, a common goal or a common mission. And it uh, really makes Amdahl a fun place to work. Hi, Amdahl. We used to hear the salesmen come off the road and talk about um, the doors that were shut in their faces, the fact that there were half a dozen IBM salesmen to every one Amdahl person out there. If the obstacles kind of are in your way, we tend to look at the overall picture in, in a nine-day race that you're allowed to have one bad day, but it's the overall result is the most important. So when did you start the race? We started on, uh, you see, Saturday. And how many miles have you gone? I don't know exactly, but we've covered uh, about five days, and we've uh, four more to go. Tomorrow's a tomorrow's the hard day, 114 miles. There were many challenges in the early days. The marketplace had more competition. The mainframe industry was a real booming up, industry. I believe that the challenge is greater at this time. We have to prove that we are different, that we have better things to offer, and that we are a better company to work for. There's an absolute sense of spirit. Everyone helps each other out. It's a real team, team effort. As far back as I can remember, we've always had the, uh, the attitude that a customer problem is an Amdahl problem. And I think that's really what has set us apart. Not only the San Francisco and San Jose champions, but the national battle champions and the corporation. Timer's ready. To your mark. Set. Go, I work in the uh, UTS customer service uh, support center. I answer questions, uh, deal with problems when customers have with uh, UTS, which is Amdahl's Unix operating system. Ronnie Townsend. I like to tell people I'm a troubleshooter. Here's where you're going to watch him. All right, Ronnie. What I do is I'm a problem solver. It's how Amdahl got its foot in the door in many of its early, early accounts, and that's how we stay there, is we outserve uh, the other guys, I think. First of all, we were just selling processors, and then we uh, uh, sold additional products like uh, storage products and front-end processors. And now we're getting more into some software products like uh, the UTS operating system and Huron. And I think what it really reflects is that our customer requirements are changing. UTS is our Unix open system software running on plug-compatible mainframes. It allows us to get in the door at Unix shops that aren't interested in a traditional mainframe solution. It also allows us to go after MVS shops who are in the process of migrating away from mainframe environments. The market is moving towards open systems and Amdahl has recognized that, has recognized it for 10 years and has been working towards that. I tended to think of this as evolutionary instead of revolutionary. I um, manage the application technology group within BIS, which um, is business information systems. And BIS is responsible for developing internal systems in Amdahl. We're responsible for the infrastructure. That includes writing uh, common shells, the framework for how we do our development. Three years ago, we were asked to take Huron. Customer response is uh, very good. They suddenly find that they can get rid of their application backlog that they've had for many years. Drawbacks. One of the drawbacks is because you can develop systems so quickly, you suddenly find that you've got customers on your doorstep expecting you to develop systems overnight. One of the things that I like to point out is that we don't have a vice president or a manager of quality. We look to every one of our employees to be quality managers. The requirements are getting stricter and deeper. 
Everybody in the industry is getting better and better at the things that they're doing. So Omdahl's got to do the same kind of thing. We've got to do things like bring delight to the customer about our products, bring full satisfaction to the customer. And that's a whole new ballgame from what we've been used to all along. You really have to have something like quality as an ongoing, ever-present uh, activity going on so that people can improve not only at the small level, the little incremental levels in their own job, but also some of the major levels like time to market and like cost of product, things like that. Well, I think uh, the kind of person that went to work for Omdahl uh, was somebody who didn't want to take the easy choice or the uh, easy option. A couple of years ago, there were some employees at Amdahl that were asking, hey, where are we going to get our employees in the year 2000? And so three people got together and established a relationship with a local high school, Lincoln High School. And they asked a few of the employees at Amdahl, hey, would you like to tutor some students down there? And I was one of them. I heard about this program and I really wanted to get involved. So I do my regular 40 or 45 hours of work each week and I also go down to the school at 7 a.m. in the morning to help a student once a week. I have a saying that there's no traffic jam on the extra mile. And I think that the employees who really give their all end up being extremely successful at Amdahl. You know, when I look at the technology that I see here and then the technology that I work with every day and what it's like to go to work every day and see the changes that have happened in that hundred years and I realize that change is going faster and faster and coming to the 21st century, uh, the changes are going to be just unbelievable. You know, we work on these ships and we have these teams of people all trying to pull together and, and do the same thing and get it done and there's conflicts and disagreements and, and you hope that by pulling together at the end of it, uh, you'll get everything there and you'll, you'll survive it and you'll more than survive it and you'll prosper. I, think, uh, I tend to see the same things, kind of things at work. And, uh, we're kind of all in it together. I think if you come to Andal, you have to understand that um, you're going to have to work hard. I think uh, any corporation that's going to be successful is going to ask a lot of its employees. But if you're looking for an environment that meets your, your needs, your personality, I think that's what you'll find at Andal. A job is something that you're at a good portion of your time, and uh, it becomes a second family. And I think we foster that environment here at Andal.